What's going on y'all? So in today's video, we're going to be trying this Terrapagos team again. So we haven't used this team since even like before Regulation G started. I, you know, was using this on like a casual ladder, um, but it's a very deadly team. I know a lot of people have shifted towards Specs Terrapagos, like that's cool and all, but I actually think that the Calm Mind variant has proved like incredibly deadly and uh, we've definitely got the ways to set it up via Protect, uh, Ogre Pond, Sinistra, you know, Comfy, all those things, right? So, oh, really cool team. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely happy with how it turned out. I think the Mental Herb helps a lot for like when you're trying to reposition and then like they think they can just stop your repositioning by just taunting Sinistra and it's like, well, no, like, I, I will get the trick room, but... <laughs> And, uh, so, you know, there's definitely that that can be really nice. And, um, you know, the Sinistra Comfy duo is just incredibly good for increasing the longevity of Terrapagos or Moltres. And then you have, uh, you know, the AV Stinson with Snarl and the, uh, Ogre Pond for the set up support and just being a good Pokemon so yeah really fun stuff uh definitely consider trying it out and uh yeah thank you guys for being here don't forget to you know leave a like or subscribe if you appreciate look we finished top 2000 with our we were like 16 and 3 or something um but yeah, you know, I, I do care about this channel and I want to make sure that it keeps growing, you know, so definitely if you appreciate, we appreciate your support. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, wait, Janice? Ooh, 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 look at my ooh. Hmm. Okay. So I actually think they have like a pretty good team. I'm wondering if I can start like these to good success and then bring like Terrapagos and Ogre. Hmm, so what am I thinking? I'm thinking that I like the way that allows me to set up Trick Room, but like I also need to be careful in front of the Pelipper, which is gonna give me a massive problem, so like, Potentially, I need to be just incredibly careful because of Pelipper itself, I think is is the way I'm looking at this. So he does start Zamarilla. So the defense raise. Huh. Very interesting. Hmm. So let's see here. <coughs> I'm sorry, I need to remember not to, I need to remember to mute myself when I do that. <laughs> so I'm going to Terra so that I don't die from body press and go for this. Cause I think if we can take out the Zamazenta, like we probably just win. 
Like, my main concern... What is my main concern? Yeah. Crit. Dang. Okay. So because it didn't crit, there's a pretty good chance we're gonna lose. But we'll see. They're thinking, they're thinking. Shempow, that helps me. So let's see. Square Blitz. Nice. Then... I'm going to... Flare Blitz here. Go for the Ivy Sun. That's it. We do live. We miss that. Now let's see. Bunch. Okay, so there's a really good chance that we're gonna lose now. Um. Hmm. I'm expecting them to switch out. They should switch out. It looks like they're not going to. So they're gonna try to get a flincher here. Very good place. Alright. So I think we're starting to lose for sure. Tight. Alright, that's perfect. See if we can get this right. Yes. All right, that should win us the game. So we fake out the Rilla. Rilla flinches. We trick one. And then they're in a pretty bad position here. So now... I'm gonna drain and kiss the Chen Pao. And. I mean, they kinda have to switch out Chen Pao. So I'm kinda giving them what they want. 
They should bring in... Okay, well... Uh, So they do have the Terra Willow Boom, which I think is smart. So, and Fire Terra. So I think we ultimately made the right play. Like, I would have liked to actually deal with Latios, but it's fine. Or, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, we're in a pretty good position. And we get a burn, that's even worse for them. They go for the U-turn, which does very little. And then, I think we can always safely draining kiss uh, knock off. So I'm not worried about taking their sash, or I mean taking them out. Um, I'm just gonna click knock off, and yeah. So that I did expect. So we should see them protect. Yeah. So we're definitely starting to win here. They haven't seen that we have Protect, so I think this is always the right play. So they're making actually a really risky play, which I respect, because that should be able to win them the- Oh, that, that's so rude. Then they go for the wood hammer, which will KO them, uh, but it actually does put them in a possible winning position. Um, I think we definitely have outs here, so I don't- I wouldn't call it a winning position. Um, even if we didn't burn them, I think we were going to win because we can always have the Draining Kiss pressure because we protected and, uh, they can't wait out Trick Room, so. So we bring in, I'm going to just bring in the Terrapog now because... We haven't brought it in yet, so like, why not? I think we played this match very well, honestly. So, Draining Kiss, Terrapod Storm. Yeah, that'll be a GG. I think the main turn that won us the game was calling that the Chen Pao felt like it had to protect so we could click fake out the team. So that was that was like the the big crucial thing that, that allowed us to like force the momentum, right? So GG's. It was a showcase for sure. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Just a quick GG. Yeah, I mean, you could see how the team was able to, to position really well. Um, I think Sinistra would have been pretty decent there. It was just the fact that like 
caliper is very scary, so. Huh. Um. So this is a very scary team to face. I like the lead of like Incineroar Sinistra. I don't love it is the problem. I do like it though. I like it pretty, uh, like, a lot. Um, it feels strong. So... I'm kind of wondering if my best route is going to be, like, to not even bring um, Terrapog this time. And, like, it definitely could lose me the game. But I'm considering this as, like, a really strong core here. So we'll see. Like, they do actually have really good answers into Terrapagos, but it actually is obviously very good into, like, I, I'm so good into Calyrex, like, I'm not even worried about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, do I really care? All right, so Insta Trick Room, Insta Fake Out. <clears throat> and then we just go from there, right? Yeah, so they should be bringing in, like, Iron Hands. Okay. Wow. I did not expect it to do that much. So we take that out. They have a bleak wind again. They miss him. They do a little. Lower Mole Trace's speed, which is good for me. So we got rid of Whims. Um, Whims is not the biggest problem. I would have actually liked to bring in Comfy there, but we'll see what happens. Um, I think we do have Deterra right now, and just go for like... Actually, that was a bad play. Because now I don't have any resistance. Now, like, now Calyrex Shadow wins, right? <sighs> so 
stupid, stupid. <laughs> what a waste. Room goes two more turns. Let's click nasty plot and let's click. Yeah, because that should just win us the game. Like, if I had missed, that would have been really bad, but... We'll take our nasty plot. We'll get the deep wind. Speed lowers. Bring in the boy. Nice. Okay, so that should win us the game. Yeah, I'm gonna say this turn, I think my best play is to take advantage of Trick Room and click Draining Kiss. Wow. Okay. So we might lose. We actually might lose. Because if I had clicked Nasty Plot there, we would probably win, but because we didn't, um, yeah. I think we're gonna lose. The only way I can win is if I can live. Actually, okay, we can live. Please? Okay. All right, so we're, there, we're in this for sure. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> so that was, uh, neither of us felt comfortable bringing our restricteds, and I won. So. <laughs> uh. What a match. So just lots of really good positioning on my part, I think, and like managing to conserve my pieces, if that makes sense. Um, I think they did like have the chance to put more pressure on the, the Moltres by not targeting Insin, but like ultimately, I don't know. They, they needed to do something, right? So. Cause it was gonna get scary for them pretty quickly. Which it did. Ooh, okay. 
this I do not love because oblivious strats are pretty rough for this team. Huh. Um. Well, we can set Trick Room with Sinistra. There's always that. Don't count me out. Don't count me out just yet. Like, all right. <laughs> we can set Trick Room with Sinistra. All right. Okay. And then <laughs> we can start clicking Terrapod things. And then. We can do incineroar things. And then <laughs> we can bring Kroger Pond because Kroger Pond's actually really good here. <coughs> Excuse me. Remember, I said I was going to mute myself when I did that. See, I did it that time. So yeah, this is going to be a rough one for sure. Um, we're going to try. We are going to try. I almost forgot that they can just put the Terrapog to sleep. So many problems. Cause like, if they just click decorate knockoff, don't I just lose, right? Like. So what I want to do is I want to click Trick Room Protect. Scary, man. Nice. This could be a bad play. Oh, now I remember why this is a bad play. Damn it. Because they're just going to spore me. Never mind. They don't have... They don't have a sash. <laughs> uh, we've been getting a little lucky here. I'm not going to lie. That's bad. That's, ooh. Wow. Because <laughs> now they just bring out Flamingo. And let's see if we can pull something here.
All right. Yep. Yep. So that is kind of bad. So what we're going to try to do here is go... Ah! No! <laughs> like, no! Uh, Rage Powder... That might just lose me the game, because if I had gone for the Earth Power last turn and landed it, like, you probably would have just been able to win. Oh my god. The insanity. That was expectable. I do think we're getting into a pretty bad position now. So let's see, Twisted Dimension. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. I think I have to try to just take this thing out. Don't die, don't die, don't die! <laughs> Please don't. Ah! Ah! Okay, that's that's just genius. Kill it! No! Craziness, man. The craziness. Wow, dude. Their defense really just keeps going up, man. I don't know who to be more afraid of. Yeah. 
Yep. All right, Terrapog, do you got me? Like, literally, if we can land this Terra Storm, there's a chance we can win. You got me? <laughs> oh, dude, take out this thing. Take it out, take it out, take it out. Yeah! <laughs> Okay, so if they have Don Dozo in the back, we have to get a KO on Muck, and then we win. If we can do that, GG. Either way, it's been fun. <laughs> Speed raises. Oh. Oh. Okay. The horse. Huh. So technically, if I had had Moltres in the back, we would have a chance of winning this still. Which is very, very interesting. Either way, Ivy Sajil. Let's try to get rid of the board. Astral Barrage. Not fun. Yeah! Yeah! Hey man, that is style points. Do you hear me? That's style points. We got the moral win, my guys. We got the moral win. And that's all you can ask for. <laughs> oh my god. We took out the comp, okay? We took out the, the annoying stuff, we took it all out, and now we just can't beat the horse, but it's fine, okay? Like, that's all we really wanted in life. So, let's spiky shield the horse. Do you think we can get... How many spiky shields do you think we can get in a row? What if we get three? Because if we can get four we can match the chance that we get through Astral Barrage. But, geez. All right. Good set of matches. That was a good one for sure. Um, yeah, so I really like the team. Uh, the team is very deadly, very good at positioning. And I definitely consider or I definitely suggest trying it out. You know, I think there was a lot of ways that we proved that it just like can really put the, the opponent in bad positions if you make really good reads. Um, and, you know, even in that last one, like, yeah, if we had had Moltres in the back, there's actually a very good chance we could have won. So I think that's something to keep in mind. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a good day.